Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I decided a little late on Friday that I was going to participate in the TBR Takedown Readathon. Um, it is hosted by Shannon over at Leaning Lights and I will link her video down below explaining it and the different challenges and everything. It's pretty low-key and that's what I liked about it. It's a week long so I actually think I might be able to finish more than one book. Um, and yeah, I, I just haven't participated in a readathon in a while and so I thought this would be a good way to motivate myself to get through some books that have been on my shelf for a while and also ones I just bought that I have not gotten into yet. So here we go. Um, the first challenge is a book that has been on your TBR for more than a year and I was excited to see that I actually don't have that many books that have been on my TBR for more than a year at this point but I decided to go with one that's kind of odd but something I definitely think I can get through this week and that is Walt Disney World Hidden History and I am a huge Disney fan and I really enjoy these like tidbit books about Disney and it's pretty short and it's got pictures and stuff in it so I feel like this is a really good readathon book because it's something I can you know dive into and out of and it's it, it seems like it'll go quickly so I decided to pick this one up and it has been on my shelf for quite a while I at least a year probably more like two or three so the next challenge is an unread sequel on your bookshelf and I was going to go with Clockwork Prince on this one but then I remembered that Patty from I Smell Books and I had talked about reading, uh, buddy reading The Fox from the Inda series and this is a great way to push me to start that so I will not finish this during the week. Like there's no way. But I, I really need to to start this as soon as possible because it's been a couple of months since I've read the first one and so I'm hoping that I don't have the same problem with the names getting back into this one. We'll see. So then the next challenge is a first book in a series and I looked at my entire TBR and I actually don't have, well I have one which is the one I picked. I only have one book that is the first in a series. I have a ton of second and third in the series so I started a bunch of series and then not continued on with them um, but I only had one that is actually a book in a series and only recently was it revealed that it will be a series I'm hoping only a duology but a series nonetheless so An Ember in the Ashes is going to be my book for that one and I wanted to read this one this month anyways because there's a lot of hype about it and everybody seems to say that it is justified and yes I am looking forward to this. So the fourth challenge is a book that's out of your comfort zone and she explains this that it could be out of your comfort zone for many reasons John, like the genre or it doesn't have the best reviews or a lot of things. I picked a book that's out of my comfort zone because I have read only one other book by this author and I didn't enjoy it but I want to give them another chance and they are part of my Read Holland's project and so I'm going to be trying to read Lee Smith's Fair and Tender Ladies and this is probably one of the smaller ones of her books that I own and also is the one of hers that I am most interested in reading so this is going to be out of my comfort zone purely because I just am unsure about the author's writing style. And the last challenge is a book from your most recent book haul. This one's a little bit cheating because I have had one other book haul since this but if I don't put this in my TBR then I will just keep avoiding and it is book club book and I have to finish this before next Tuesday so this has to get read during the readathon and it is from one of my most recent book hauls so I'm going to count it. I am also listening to the audiobook of uh, This is the Story of a Happy Marriage which is from my most recent book haul so that one kind of counts too but this is the one that I really really want to focus on first. I am over halfway through it so and, and it reads really fast. I'm enjoying it, don't get me wrong. It's just that I keep finding excuses not to read this one. And I think it's because I have like a deadline. Like I have to have it read. 
I don't have to have it read, but I would like to have it read by our book club meeting, not this coming Tuesday, but next Tuesday after that. And so I think the deadline being imposed on me is making me reach for other things, which is silly. So this has definitely had to find its way in there. All right, so those are the books that I am going to be reading during the TBR Takedown readathon, and I'm actually considering doing sort of like a vlog style throughout the read-along readathon. I don't know why I keep saying read-along. Um, Kaz over at the Little Book Owl did something like this recently, and I really liked the way she did it. And um, I was like, you know what? I could totally do that. So I'm going to try, I'm going to attempt to do that because I think it would be fun. And I feel like that is a, a baby step into vlogging because I, I like the idea of vlogging like for travel and different things, but I get embarrassed kind of easily. So this is just a baby step in. Plus I thought you guys might want to see something other than this background every once in a while. So let me know if that's something that you think uh, would be fun for me to do and I would love to hear if you're participating in this. What books are you reading? Definitely let me know if you have a video or a blog post or an Instagram or something like that with your TBR for this. I would love to check that out and I will see you guys next time. Bye!